All right, team. It's tournament week. I haven't done a video like this in six months, and I said I wasn't sure if I'd do a video like this, but I'm doing a video like this. It's Monday. This week, I'm playing my first tournament in six months, which is actually a one-day event, followed by a two-day event at the same golf course. The Rolling Red Tour has this cool kind of paired motto where you play a one day, you play a two day. You're in three competitive rounds. It's at a course called Deer Creek, which I've played before, so no practice round needed, but we need a little bit of practice. And Annie just showed up, so I'm gonna go work on my short game. Thankfully, in like the last couple weeks, uh, I've been able to get a little bit of practice in. And last week, I actually played three rounds of golf, two in Pinehurst, two and a half in Pinehurst, nine holes here. So we got 54 holes under my belt. But I think this is the area that just is gonna need the most refinement before playing some tournaments. Is, is short game, pitching, chipping, just getting comfortable with Bermuda grass and those weird lies you get. Being out on the golf course last week really did help with that. I'm feeling a little bit more confident. So we're just kind of using today as a day to just get the feels solid, technique solid, build a little bit more confidence because if I'm honest, my confidence going into this process is probably like a two out of 10. Last week I built it up maybe to about a four, but that's probably where we're at. And I don't think it's gonna change much in the next couple days physically. So it's, it's mentally, I gotta kind of get some confidence and just go out there and, and trust it and have some fun and see what happens. session done it's funny julian surrey's here getting ready to go back and play in europe and he's playing this event just to get some reps and he's like you're leaving already I'm like yeah man i gotta go home chalk back into my other job of being a dad and a husband but that's it that's this the reality of this so my expectations are realistic to that but i also have a lot of experience playing and a lot of experience preparing and that's kind of the lesson i think right now is a couple days before a tournament you're not changing much you kind of have to just hone in what you've got dance with who you brought to the dance so to speak tomorrow another day to prep probably just going to be able to roll some putts at home hit some shots in the net and then it's tournament time so it's it's mental more than anything. You need to trust myself, realistic expectations. And like I said earlier, just have a lot of fun because this is fun. It's, uh, I'm very lucky. Tuesday night, 9.57 a.m. tea time. Tomorrow, I want a good night's sleep, so you know. Extra strength, beam dream, whispering because Jude's asleep in there. I got a little bit of practice in today. Literally hit like a dozen shots um, and wrote some putts in the garage while Jude swung there on the swing and watched me. I feel fun. I feel man, nervous, not really. Just looking forward to having fun tomorrow and playing some golf. How uh, to make things a little more fun for y'all though. I'm gonna give away a bag of Beam Dream to a lucky viewer. I gotta do comment on the video in the next video. I'm gonna pick a winner and hook you up with some of the best sleep of your life. If you don't wanna wait, you wanna get it for yourself, use the code Andrew15. You'll save 15% off the secret, the secret sauce. I'm gonna go to bed and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Before we dive into my tournament action, let's talk about some action to be had this week at the PGA Championship. Southern Hills, Tulsa, Oklahoma, second major of the year. Sponsor of today's video, DraftKings Sportsbook, want me to tell you that if you're a first time user, download the app, use the code TEAMAJ, and you make a $5 bet, you're gonna get $100 in free bets. Win or lose, make a $5 bet, win or lose, you're getting $100 to bet across the app. There's $10 million in prizes to be won this week around the PGA Championship on DraftKings. Incredible stuff, so first time users, Download the app, use the code TEAMAJ, bet $5, and $100 is yours. I mean, what more do you want? DraftKings, they've been an awesome sponsor of the channel for going on four years now. Team AJ, support them back because they support us so much. Download the app, use the code, bet $5. There's so much money to be won this week, it just makes watching the PGA Championship that much more exciting. So DraftKings, thank you so much for all your support. Let's freaking do this. Next on the tee, from Jacksonville, Florida, Andrew 
Jensen. Tournament golf. I mean, for some people it's like riding a bike. I am not one of those people. It takes me a little bit to get my, my feet under me and we experienced that in the first round. Just a little sloppy early on. The nervous energy, the anxiety kind of Thinned a chip, made a bogey, smother hooked one, made a double bogey, smother hooked another one, made a double bogey, you know, seven over on the front nine. Settled down a little bit on the back nine and actually shot uh, seven over for the tournament. Shot even par on the back nine. A stupid bogey on the last hole. I took a risk, don't know why. Trying to hit something under a tree over a hazard to hit a par five green and two. Straight to the hazard, dummy made a bogey. So we shot seven over 78. The nice thing about the rolling in red though, with that one day and then a two day, if you played bad, it's like you get a restart. So I got a restart. Day two, we went out there fresh, a little bit of experience, felt a little bit better, and man, I played freaking awesome. Through 13 holes, I'd hit 12 greens. I putted like crap. I just missed like four 12 footers for birdie, made an eagle, made a double, but I was one under through 13. And then uh, those nervous energies that I had day one, they kind of came back and I literally hit a bad shot on every hole to finish. 18, same thing. Shot over the hazard and just terrible. I mean, it's a long iron, terrible bogey. So bogey the last three to shoot. Three over par, 74, and three under was leading. So when I was one under, I was like right in. And the amount of missed putts that I had too, oh, it could have been a really, really good day, but those first 13 holes felt incredible. Felt a little bit more like what I can do in tournament golf. So I was like, okay, let's see what we can do tomorrow. And then unfortunately, the final round, pulled my tee shot on the first hole, out of bounds, made a double. Then uh, made another double. Before that, I shanked one on the par three, made a bogey. So I was six over par in four holes, shot six over par. I settled down a little bit, rolled it better, kind of rectified what went wrong. The second day putting, and then of course, on the 18th hole, I had a six iron over the hazard. I caught it a little heavy into the hazard. Got up and down for bogey at least, but I literally hit it into the hazard in front of the 18th green all three days. Played that hole two over par, and it was just like close. A lot of bad shots, and I'm call a spade a spade, but there was a stretch in each round where I played really well, and I was really happy with how I was thinking. I didn't play fearful that second round, that second day, first round of the two day. And if the putter just was better, could have been a good week, but unfortunately uh, we made zero dollars. We learned that we need to work a lot harder. Don't have a lot of time. The next tournament is in four weeks. And if I'm gonna go into that the same way I went into this one, I'll probably shoot the same scores. I'll struggle to shoot three, four over par because I gotta practice more. I don't have a lot of time, but I gotta find it because the reality is if I don't practice more, my expectations will still stay low. My confidence will still be like a four out of 10 and uh, we'll probably struggle and then shoot the same scores. So let that be a lesson. Expectations need to be realistic, but you get what you put into it. And I'm not putting a lot into it because I'm just not able to, but we're working towards a goal. That's the whole point of this series. We're working towards a goal of trying to win again. Would have been great to win one of the first ones. We're pacing ourselves. We're working towards that goal. I don't feel incredibly discouraged. I don't feel incredibly confident. I'm somewhere in the middle. All I gotta do is practice some more and in four weeks time, hopefully feel a little bit better. Learn from this event, these events, play a little bit better. Hope you enjoyed this, this event recap, deep dive. Let me know what you thought of it. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.